are mostly sunny. If you really want to be picky, there are a couple of those high thin clouds here and there, but that's about it. And temperatures warmer after being really cool the last couple of days. Now we are finally seeing temperatures that are up to or even slightly warmer than average 63 in Sacramento. We have a breeze that's under 10 miles an hour, and even that breeze will be diminishing as we go through the evening. Currently in Stockton, we have sunshine 62 degrees here too. We have a light northwesterly wind in Modesto sunshine and 60 right now. It's really nice, beautiful way to end the week in Fairfield. 64 degrees at Travis Air Force Base with an offshore wind and in South Lake Tahoe. We have warmed into the upper 30s, currently 38 degrees and the wind here is calm. Yeah, there's some of those high thin clouds, but that's about the extent of any cloud cover we will be seeing. Here's the difference between yesterday and today. We're up nine in Yuba City, up eight in Sacramento, up six in Fairfield. And even though we're warmer right now and that warmth will continue into the evening hours, by morning, it's going to be chilly again. We'll be down in the upper 30s in the valley. There'll be foothill spots that may even reach the low 30s. But once the sun comes up tomorrow, is going to turn into another terrific day. We have cloud cover to our south, and that's where it'll stay. It's all part of that weather system that's been spinning off the coast, and that will stay away from us over the next few days. Tomorrow, there may be a couple of clouds that come our way, but it'll be another mostly sunny and mild day. And Sunday is going to be terrific with a light offshore wind. Valley temperatures will reach the upper 60s. If you have to pick one day out of the next three, I think Sunday may be the warmest and the sunniest and just a, or the prettiest day. Monday won't be far behind, but we'll start to see a few clouds. Beyond that, that's when we'll start to see some changes. So after the three day weekend, we start to see a change. A cold front will come through during the day on Tuesday, likely in the late afternoon and evening, bringing us some modest amounts of rain and a little bit of snow. But more importantly, it'll drop the temperatures back down. And that's what we'll see throughout next week. How much rain and snow we may see from time to time next week still remains very uncertain. The latest model runs are really decreasing the amounts of rain and snow we might see. But the thing we know we're going to see next week is colder weather. In the meantime, tomorrow, beautiful day in the Sierra with daytime highs around 40. The roads will be dry all the way through the weekend, meaning not only getting up the hill tonight or tomorrow will be fine, but also getting back on Monday. Look for a high of 53 in Pollock Pines. Along Highway 49, look for temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 tomorrow. Beautiful day. We'll make it into the upper 60s in Fairfield, mid 60s in Antioch. And for the valley, skies will be clear tonight. Overnight lows will drop into the 30s. Tomorrow we'll have sunshine and light winds with a high of 65 in Stockton. About the same thing in Sacramento and 64 degrees in Yuba City. Temperatures stay mild on Monday. We will see some showers on Tuesday with the temperature drop beginning. And then the end of next week, we'll have occasional rain with temperatures in the 50s. Again, we just don't know how much rain or snow we might see next week, but we yeah. do know it's going to be colder and there will at least be occasional rain next week. Okay, thank you, Mark. Well, it's tax season and we're helping you keep.